So you like the actual city of Buffalo. You don't want to be in suburbia. You don't like the rural areas. You want to be in the limelight inside the city where it's walkable, places to stay, good food to eat and drink. And you want to know the best five places for you and your family to move to. We're about to go through that right now in this video. Let's do it. What's going on you guys? I hope all is well as always. In this video, we're gonna be staying inside the city. So no suburbs in this one. This is literally the reverse from the last video that we did about the top five suburbs inside the suburban areas. This one, we're staying exactly inside the city. Now there's a lot of different neighborhoods in the city. So I really, I'm not trying to steer you guys. So make sure you guys get, out, get that out your head. You guys always decide which area is best for you. I'm just giving you based off my knowledge to number one, I'm basing it off niche.com, the area vibes and different things and surveys that people have voted inside the actual city for the best areas in and around the city of Buffalo in both videos. So this one, we're staying inside the city, but we will be jumping on the maps in this one just because I want to get you guys a more familiar. It's easier to say where the suburbs are inside the city. It's a little more difficult, especially with a couple of these. You may or may not disagree with them. First, the second thing is you may think of areas as combined when actually if you really put a border around a couple of these neighborhoods, you really kick out some bad parts and you leave in some good parts and vice versa. So let's jump on the computer because I know for a fact this number one will turn a lot of heads because of this you know, cohesiveness that people always combine these two areas in. And that's actually Central Central Park. Like now, if you're from Buffalo, they what heck no Central Park not nice, but people always classify Leroy inside of Central Park. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Let's jump on the maps. So if we come on the maps right here, Central Park is actually the borderline of this right here. Now, where people always get it mixed up is if you come a couple streets down this way to Leroy, this part of Central, well, this part of Buffalo is not known as the best area, if you know what I mean. But if you really stay inside, what's actually what they deemed as Central Park, once you coming down Staring and Depew, especially once you hit Main Street, once you cross over Main Street this way, this these four streets right here. So if you go on East Depew, Benwood, and East Morris, these streets are actually really nice, right behind Bennett and then All High Stadium. All High Stadium is where a lot, well, actually Bennett, that's true, uh, Bennett High School's football field. But it, once you start to get into the season as far as playoffs and second championships this is where a lot of people do play their high school football games now people always classify central park with leroy but actually leroy is not the best area but once you if you just stay inside the borders of central park this area is actually really, really nice. Like, and people underestimate that all the time. People always mess this up. Like Central Park, or St even if you even move, once you cross over to Hurdle and you go on a stair in Central, these two neighborhoods are actually really nice. I mean, even just driving through there, it's it's a very nice area. I mean, old school single family homes, a lot to do. Obviously, you got two parks. Now you got Shoshone Park, you have all high which is mostly like a football field and track type thing. And then you got McCarthy Park. Now, at one point back in the day, you, you really didn't go to McCarthy Park after a certain amount of time. But again, that's because it was so... Once you cross East Amherst, it gets... It gets sketchy over there. I ain't going to lie to you. I play football all the town park right across. I play for the Buffalo Vets. So the Manhattan right here, I play football here every single day when I was a kid. So I know about all of that, all of those areas. But again, if you stay in this area here, it's a really, really nice area. And Central Park is actually probably one of the top areas in Buffalo once you stay inside that border. North Buffalo crossing over here and all those good things, those are great too. To, but these houses over here, the walkability over here, the parks close by, especially once you're talking to Shoshone. Once you cross a uh, hurdle here, you literally have a whole Shoshone park, which has basketball, you know, uh, your normal park activity. So North Buffalo League actually play 
place here for baseball, and that's a really big travel league up there too. So Central Park, Central, Stara Central, I will kind of group these together. And again, you can understand why people do do it all because they're so close. But once you go, know Buffalo and once you start to understand the city of Buffalo and the different things that they have to offer, you'll know you can go two blocks. It looked rich mcmansions everything you go to more blocks and it's crazy if you guys ever drive up west delavan to east delavan it's like two totally different worlds so that's one thing i definitely can say about that and i know a lot of y'all probably like oh central park but once you break it down that way it make a lot more sense don't it let's get it again these are in no particular order it's just how i've written them down if you guys don't already know Nice little break here, right? My name is Devonta Davis. I am a local realtor in and around the Buffalo area. I love Buffalo. Born and bred here. Born and raised here. Everything in between. If you guys didn't already, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button. Hit the little notification bell. It helps me out a lot. It puts this video in front of a lot more people who want to see these type of videos too. And make sure you share it with your family and friends. Or if you're moving to Buffalo, hit your boy up. Or if you're already in Buffalo and you're just looking to move around, maybe to another area, something nicer, make sure sure you hit me up hit the link in the description whatever it may be let's get back to the video because we want to talk about the rest of these last four that i got on this list so when it comes to parkside parkside is basically inside of uh, right right by the delaware district and we actually probably going to group these two together is parkside is literally right along the side park of delaware park now this is a great place to raise a family because you have a lot of activities that's go on in this area hint two great things once we jump on a map right here so once you come off park side over here you really have a bunch of things you got a the buffalo zoo so this area in particular right here will really if you just border around this area again it's not far from central park but if you border around this area too and you can really stay up park side as really long as you want to until you run into hurdle anything along this area you have a bunch of things so you got the buffalo zoo obviously you got delaware park so whether you want to walk ride bike um golf frisbee golf it's it's the park like this is the happenings when it comes to the summertime madness in buffalo now it was some crazy things going on this past summer unfortunately you know i lost one of my friends crazy enough but um like delaware park along this area you generally don't have too much going on besides actual fun but if you stay along Parkside, Jouet, all these areas here, you have a lot of apartments over here too and affordable housing. So you can see Belmont housing right here. That's actually affordable housing uh, that you guys can get. But these along the uh, these along these couple of streets over here, anywhere between probably 250, 280, if you get it completely redone and a lot of people take these old historic, I mean, straight architecture, homes and make these things beautiful especially around this uh, frank lloyd wright uh martin house over here if you guys never been to that i'm gonna pop up a vid in there but the way this dude used to design homes i don't know if you ever looked at this guy's architecture but it's off the richter chain i'm telling like this guy was genius but there's a lot of different things to do in this area and it makes it such a great area to raise a family in because all of these streets are super super walkable but at the same time for mom and dad you have plenty you got the bank close by you will have to drive to a grocery store or two, but you have a lot of different things that you guys can do in this area. And also, especially when it comes to dining and things like that, like you guys can do a lot of things. So mom or dad can definitely go run in the morning, walk their kids at night. You know what I'm saying? You won't have a problem in this area in particular. So the next place would definitely have to be elmwood village now a lot of you guys hear about it people rave about it it's been in multiple different articles discussions as definitely probably one of the top places to be inside the city and the reason why this is so great for a family because if you look at all these nike not nikes these knives and forks you can see just how much eatery is around the elmwood village and that's perfect because when mom and dad get tired they trying to go out to the bar or if you really guys if you really like um 
in the morning, you really like your coffee, spot coffee, Starbucks, Hutches at night, which is a super, super nice restaurant. Definitely one uh, to definitely scream about inside the Buffalo area. JT's, of course, like there's a lot to do in this specific area. And definitely when it comes to the school. Now, you got two of the top schools as far as private goes inside the Buffalo area, which is right in the Elma Village. So you got Canisius High School and you also have Narden too. Both of these are private. One is girls, one is all boys. You guys should really look up Canisius. It's real expensive. Don't get me wrong. Personally, I'm just not a big private school dude. Like I I'd rather save it for college, especially with colleges paying 40 grand a year right now. You going to need that money later on, depending on your financial situation. But Elmwood Village has a lot to offer, especially once you guys are talking about the summertime, things to do, painting, painting sips. I mean, like I said, a lot of stuff for the kids up and down Elmwood, Soldier Circle. So, you know, somewhere to run up and down if they just want to go outside, play in the grass or something like that. I mean, and just the scenery alone around this Chaplin Parkway, Bidwell, all over over here this is definitely probably one of the top places i would say to definitely raise your family in because you have everything you have every single amenity around you and the cost is super low too the crazy part about it now you know how i said earlier we were talking about west ferry and an east ferry look how close these are together once you get the experience First of all, if you have never been to experience brunch time, free, not free mimosas, but unlimited mimosas, you guys definitely want to check this out. But this is definitely a place like you're going to see the change. Like you can go from a million dollar property over in this area, million dollar condos, and it turned to... 80,000, 100,000 very quickly as soon as you cross over Main Street right here. And right here, this is actually uh, Main Street. You got going all over down and West Fair. So there's actually a bus station and all that stuff over there too. So even if you do catch the ride to work, like you have a lot of things around you when it comes to the Elmwood Village area. Now, to really cap this entire uh, thing off, because I don't want to make this super long, but South Abbott, you guys heard me talk about the MI, one of my very, very first videos I've ever done in Buffalo, uh, about the Buffalo area is South Abbott. And I actually really, really like this area. Now you're going over here. You're again, you have everything around you. So this is actually South Buffalo. So you're on a Southern end of the, of the, uh, of the city over here. Now this little three block, four block radius right here is actually South Abbott, but in all honesty, to push it out to the nice side, I would even cross over a little bit way over over into past McKinley Parkway right here and over uh, to this street right here, which is um, closer to, I think that what is yeah, South Park Avenue. So I would personally branch this off right here. This area, this neighborhood right in here off South Abbott is a really, really nice area, especially when it comes to housing, big, beautiful, old architecture just coming throughout. I mean, you're talking about 2,500 uh, 2,600, 3,000 square foot homes over in this area that people generally redo very well. I can't say this. A lot of these homes are older over here. Um, so that's definitely something to think about, but once you're inside those homes, a lot of people do redo them quite pristine. Like a lot of people take great care. If you guys get a chance, once you come into Buffalo, just drive up and down McKinley Parkway right here, especially once you come to the circle and then just loop around coming in basically over into Lackawanna to the Botanical Gardens. And that's a really great thing about this area because you got the Botanical Gardens right here and you have South Park. Now, there's some part to South Park that's not good at all. Like I will tell you that. And once you kind of cross over into this area here going into the actual neighborhood of south park it ain't the best but if you guys are in this area you guys know i don't disrespect nobody hood i i man look i know what it's like trust me i know what it's like so i don't disrespect anybody hood or neighborhood i'm just telling you where it's some nice parts and where it ain't some nice parts but if you're looking for a family if you guys are really looking to really hone in on those family areas definitely these four or five places are really something you guys should really think about especially uh, once you're in south abbott you even got the golf course and and the casanevia park over here too and you got the golf course right behind you like all of this area is pretty much south buffalo but this block of neighborhood so even if i bring the pin out real quick 
So this block of an area here, I will probably shape that off bang right there. And real I mean the this this is really South Abbott throwing McKinley Park away in there. There's so much to do, so many things in and around that area, especially when it comes to eat, like for a fact. But I pray you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys didn't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit that little notification bell. And as always, I will talk to you guys in the next one.